Hi, I'm doing a product review on the brand Strivectin, and I received two full-size samples of the Advanced Retinol Intensive Night Moisturizer and the Advanced Retinol Pore Refiner. So these both contain retinol. Um, Strivectin actually got big a few years back when they came out with an anti-stretch mark cream, and people somehow gravitated towards their face, using the product on their face, and it was discovered as being an all-around anti-aging product. So that really helped put Stravectin kind of on the map as an anti-aging brand, and they've really expanded what they offer. They offer a number of products now, all mainly just retinol-based. They uh, have a sort of a patented or trademarked um, NII14 something techno patented technology that is supposedly geared towards like the moisture barrier and things like that. Um, <clears throat> this product retails for $112. This product retails for $99. And I had a month to try out the product, see if that I, I saw enough of an improvement in my skin to, to see whether that price point was kind of justified. Um, the thing is, is there are tons of products and tons of brands right now that contain retinol in it. And retinol is basically kind of the superstar of anti-aging. So there are products out there in the drugstore that cost 18 to $25 and contain retinol in it, um, which is basically a vitamin A derivative. This product retails for a lot more. So I had to sort of judge whether that price point um, and basically this product delivered differently than those brands that I could get in the drugstore. Um, my favorite anti-aging product is, has been Rock so far, so I kind of compared it against that and tried to see if I thought one delivered better than the other. After a month's use, um, I do think the product is very nice. It applies into the skin very smoothly. It's a thin texture. It blends right into the skin. It absorbs easily. And it does give the skin more kind of a firm uh, feel to it and I think fine lines were a little bit reduced after a month. It is hard to tell. I think most skincare products you need about maybe close to three months to really get a real firm sense of whether that product delivered because retinol doesn't isn't an instant um, fix. It's something that you need to give time to to see an actual result on. Um, after a month's use of it I would say that it compared pretty evenly to rock as far as performance goes. So I wouldn't say that the product at $112 performed measurably better than rock at $18 or $19 that would justify such a price difference. So that's just my take on the product. I'm, I, I'm overall impressed with it, but um, the price point uh, compared to other products out there that contain retinol not doesn't quite measure up. Okay, thank you.